Welcome and thank you for this opportunity. I am Greg Trapsa, a co-founder of Blue Frontier. Blue Frontier's novel liquid desiccant cooling technology was invented by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and designed for sustainability. Our technology transforms low temperature waste heat into high performance dehumidification and cooling and eliminates the motor driven compressor. We are three times more efficient than conventional equipment, setting the high watermark for energy efficiency and greenhouse gas savings. We pack it full of valuable features, including thermal energy storage, intelligent adaptive control, and digital twin performance monitoring. We future-proof buildings by eliminating the impact of heat waves. Remarkably, energy efficiency and cooling capacity increase as temperatures soar. We achieve complete decarbonization by eliminating harmful refrigerants and by transforming waste heat into cooling. Here's how it works. A stream of up to 100% outdoor air passes through a MERV-8 pre-filter and MERV-13 final filter. A high-performance damper and twin direct-drive ECM motor-driven fans push the humid and hot airstream into the air conditioner. The conditioner core is a counterflow heat exchanger made of parallel, flat, thin wall, stainless metal plates. The breakthrough is a liquid desiccant enhanced air conditioning core, but this proprietary liquid desiccant is different. It is non-corrosive, non-toxic, and non-volatile, so you don't have to worry about corrosion or safety hazards. Each plate independently dehumidifies and cools the air in two stages. Stage one dehumidifies the air. As the humid and hot air enters the conditioner core, it encounters a thin film of liquid desiccant entrained in a wick that is adhered to the flat metal plate. The liquid desiccant is absorbed into the wick, which evenly distributes it across the plate. The low flow of liquid desiccant is gravity fed, absorbing water as it moves from top to bottom. How does this dehumidify air? Liquid desiccant has a low vapor pressure. Think of it as a sponge that wants to absorb moisture. It literally sucks the moisture from the air. As the air exits stage one, it is fully dehumidified. Stage two drops the temperature of the air. In this section, the flat metal plate is cold, absorbing heat and cooling the air to the desired temperature. How do we cool the metal plate? A fraction of the dried and cooled air is drawn around the corner, counterflow, across the backside of the same plate. The dry air encounters a low flow of treated city water, which is evenly distributed and trained by a wick. The water is gravity fed, evaporating and cooling the plate. The process is known as indirect evaporative cooling. The high humidity air is then purged outside, completing the air conditioning cycle. Having passed through the two stages, the dry and cool air exits the conditioner core and continues into a plenum for side or down discharge into the building. Together, we will advance sustainability, productivity, human health, and well-being.